Just like great moments, great books have a before and an after. When the book thief became a phenomenon, 16 million copies sold, worldwide book tour, Hollywood movie, it seemed like no one knew what to do about its author, Marcus Zusak III is from Engadine who laughs, disguises himself, and writes mostly red novels. Having produced a best-selling novel Young Australians, and set in what is now Nazi Germany, in the form of a 500-page novella narrated by death. With his next book not out soon, Bridge of Clay would take 13 years publish. Hungry readers turned instead to Zusak's previous book, The Messenger, which is about begin an ABC adaptation. Still others didn't know what to make of it I can still remember exactly the words of an Amazon customer reviewer who said, I can't believe the genius who wrote the book Thief wrote this, says Zusak. This single review impressed Zusak so much that he didn't want UK publishers to publish The Messenger because he feared it would be marketed as The Messenger. Book Thief 2 I was 30, but I was still a kid, says the 47-year-old. I have never been a very assertive or confident person. You're always at war with yourself. But I say this with a smile on my face, and he smiles often too, if you believe in great reviews, you must believe in bad ones too. As a teenager and later as a bookseller, I was evangelical about The Messenger. For a while, nothing spoke to me as much as this weird novel that follows Ed Kennedy, a hapless young taxi driver who starts receiving mysterious playing cards in the mail. Each has addresses or clues written on it, leading him to complete strangers who need help in ways he needs to explore. The eight-part arc sees Ed coming up with solutions that range from small acts of kindness to outright deception and violence. He befriends an old woman who thinks has his wife, gets an abusive husband, and tries to unite two brothers who are fighting, among other tasks. His friends Audrey, Richie and Marv watch EDS life steadily go on with tasks assigned to him by a mysterious task manager, and identified if the series is following book. As a book, The Messenger draws the line between young adult fiction and adult fiction, as all of Zusak's heartfelt books do. Another feature once made Zusak hard spot now, we can probably say that has the Australian answer to US questions. John Green also writes about young people who confuse with an open-hearted seriousness is easy breakdown. But for whatever reason, we are often embarrassed to love something that falls on the softer side of ourselves. The ambassador certainly does. But I'd rather be an open book and show who I am. 21 years after writing The Messenger, Zusak went back and read it before serving as executive producer on the ABC show. The young girl also read it for the first time. He said, well, if it's going to be on TV, I guess I should, he said with a laugh. Has always been very indecisive about mine.